We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you at a different angle. Different angle, everybody. And we're doing Wild Silly Product Sunday. Yay! Isn't it Saturday? Oh yeah, Saturday. We've actually been getting a lot of requests of people saying, why can't you do more product reviews? Whoops. Okay, first off, I just tried one of our new products and I just had a very small amount and I'm seriously like blown away. I'm a little nauseated, just a little bit, not bad, but I'm high as can be and it totally just took my sinuses away. Like, it was intense. Like, I'm still buzzing. The Moringa powder, this thing's huge, inexpensive. It will last forever because the amount I took was so small and it smells like Health Force's greener grasses. Like a stronger version. Man. Green powder. Tell me about the Moringa powder, babe. What it, it comes from the leaves. Lord, Moringa just is one of those things that's known as like a miracle food. Um, it grows on trees, but you can also grow it like as a crop. But I grow it, it grows very fast and you can harvest it when it's young, which I would imagine is what they do to create this product. Um, I smelled it and I was, it like hit my head. Yeah, it has this outrageous nutritional profile. Just look it up online. I don't remember numbers, but you know, calcium and vitamin K and this and really? that. And I don't know, just everything. Look it up. <laughs> Moringa powder, Moringa. It's like a miracle, a miracle food. Crazy. I'm going to mess around with protein 21, 27.1 grams. Mm -hmm. uh, Per 100 grams. Hmm. So it's like 27% protein. Dude, that just makes me... I'm like blitzed from it right now. Maybe it's like poisonous and it's just like totally stimulating me. And no, This stuff is awesome. We actually have Moringa trees growing behind our house. Um, I planted some seeds, so we're excited to get those into the ground. They're little babies at the moment. This is powerful. I think this is going up to like micronutrient favorites. Wow. I totally took my sinuses away and I'm totally blitzed. Strong stuff. Unbelievable. This is a must for everybody to play with. Pure wraps. This is one of our new favorite toys. It comes like, these tortillas come like this. Coconut. They smell so good. It's only made out of four ingredients. Coconut meat, coconut water, salt, and this one has spices in it, curry and they, spices. And there's like four in each one, right? Or is, yeah. Look, it's made out of coconut. You just put your food in, you wrap it up, and then you got like a total wrap. And it totally like stays intact. It doesn't break. I put my cucumber salad in there and I honk. Forget about it. And they're raw. And they're just, they're so cool. It's like, I, I want to know how they make them so perfectly. Every time. Like, I've, I've done things like this, but not so perfectly. Very cool idea for fast-paced, modern, raw food lifestyles, methinks. And they just have curry and original. We, we have like 40 of these, probably like 50 of these coming out to us in Ecuador in the next few days. Someone's bringing them to us. If I'd had those kind of things when I was first going raw, it would have been so much easier for me. Because it's all about bread replacements, right? People always want bread replacements. And I was using rice cakes and those rice wraps and all kinds of stuff. Could have just used those. They didn't exist, but they do now. Processed starches, bread replacement. We're talking about bread replacements, now let's talk about pasta replacements. Woo! Yummers, sea spaghetti, seaweed from usually uh, the Atlantic around uh, Spain Tobins. and sure, 
and Ireland, I believe, sea spaghetti usually comes from. This is one of my favorite seaweeds. It's so good. It's ridiculous. It's literally like eating pasta. You know, like the texture of al dente pasta when it's like, I mean, you can soak this until it gets so soft that it's like mushy, disgusting, overboiled pasta. But um, what I usually do is I soak it overnight um, and then I throw away the rinse water and it's like just ah, like perfect al dente pasta. And you can make any kind of sauce and throw it on there. Um, and I actually have a little creation right here that I was just making for lunch and we decided to come and do a video. So what I did was I spiralized half of a very big zucchini courgette and I mixed that in with half a packet of that sea spaghetti which I'd soaked already and now I'm going to go and make a sauce for it. Take one out, we're going to show them what, what it, this turns into a... Like floppy pasta. It's so delicious. It's like, um, it already tastes like salty and seaweed. I mean, maybe if you don't like the taste of salty, seaweedy stuff, then maybe you wouldn't like it. But to me, it's amazing. I imagine it might be a good kind of like fish replacement for some people as well. Maybe if you um, are trying to move away from that. I don't know. To me, it's really delicious. And I'm going to go make a sauce now with something like sunflower seeds and some cucumber maybe and some hot pepper and lime juice and a little bit of salt. You don't need to put much salt in because it already tastes so salty. It has so much um, sodium and minerals naturally in the seaweed. And garlic and some other things. You can just make any kind of sauce. You can make, I'm going to make like a curry kind of sauce. I'm going to put some of Frankie G's curry powder in there. Or you could make like a, um, <laughs> a more kind of Mexican flavor or just anything. It's so flexible. It's, it's like eating pasta. You know, if you were eating pasta, you might make a marinara sauce or a this or a that. So it's just really the same. A great pasta replacement. Really delicious. And I'm so glad we finally have it because it's something that I used to eat in the UK a lot. And then it wasn't available in North America until now. Uh, Baba kind of looks like that man on the street in Loha. Bye bye. Nah. nah. That's enough, isn't it? Yummers, right? Yummers. Dude, this moringa powder is one of my new favorite micronutrient products. I'm gonna do some research on it right now to see exactly what's in it. But I know the whole tree is edible. This is the most nourishing part is the leaves. This is the pure leaves of this tree. It's a nutritional powerhouse. And I can sense the power in this because I'm blown out of my mind still. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> Moringa powder. You're going to hear me talking about it more. I just tried it for the first time ever five minutes ago. And who do we got there? Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch. Third Eye Buzzin'. Wild product. Saturday! And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World. Alright everybody, so I wanted to test the Moringa with Michael here just so I can make sure just make sure it just wasn't me about to see how he was affected by the Moringa powder. How'd it go? Uh, well... <clears throat> I'm not used to eating powders really, so at first I was like, I kind of inhaled it and that was wrong. I shouldn't have done it that way. And um, so at first I was like, oh, oh. And I coughed a little bit, but then once I had some water and I kind of like drank it, it was like, it kind of gave me a little bit of a flush and then all of a sudden this like clarity and, and kind of like an upper chakra rush from the heart chakra up, I felt like this kind of like openness. So yeah, definitely, definitely a cool buzz and I've never... Like I said, I've never been big on eating powders, but that stuff's pretty cool. Cool. I like it. <laughs> yeah. 
It's crazy. Moringa powder. Check it out.